Yes, hello. I was wondering if you could play that song again. Hmm, which one, man? The one that goes... Yeah. Hey. Yeah, I promise you a menace, man. And I can snap at any... Hello, boys and girls. Wink, winkly. Wink, winkly? Wink, weekly. Episode 49. Victor is not on with me today. What an asshole. Well... Not going to take a lot of your time here today. I do have Victor's picks, so we'll get into all of them for you here shortly. Standings, man, bad, bad beat for Mark Woods. Losing on a stat correction. That, that's tough. That's tough. That's a, that's one, that's a hard one to overcome. He does, he does it this week, though. He'll be fine. He's going to, going to keep his pace in that division um, to this extent. But right now, he is first in the East at five and three. I am six and two in the West. Sometimes I don't know how the fuck I'm six and two, but I'm six and two. Team kick your ass, Tommy Tidwell, six and two. Just shit the bed last week on me, or he would have whipped my ass. The North, Jerry's boys at four and three. It's a pretty tight race, really up and down. There's nobody that's just running away from second place in any division. Every single second place division is in four and four. So the wild card spot is going to be hot and heavy this year. Uh, recent activity, not a lot. I don't follow the recent activity like Victor does. That's why he always runs through it. So it would be difficult for me to really look at it and give you a whole lot of substance uh, but one of the big ones, Matt Breida was added. CeeDee Lamb was dropped. Corey Davis got the ad this week. Um, not, not just a whole lot to be terribly excited about. So we'll go to picks here for you real quick. Uh, our game of the week is going to be Goat Emoji against Jerry's Boys. That'll be last up on the, on the, um, docket here for my game against Bad Juju. Victor is picking me. Uh, I don't know. Not crazy about it. Obviously, I took a bad, uh, bad shot with George Kittle going down last week. I'm going to fill in with Evan Ingram this week. Maybe that's a gift because he's playing Washington. But outside of that, you can't trust Washington, uh, the New York Giants, as far as you can throw them. I'm playing Russell Wilson, Derrick Henry. Um, man, I don't. Bad Juju is a better team than four and four, in my opinion. Um, We'll see what happens there. Victor's pulling it uh, for the genitals. He says I'm going to take that, take that to the house. Next up, we have got straight cash homie Mr. Mark Woods against jacking off to girly picks. I always try to say that as many times as I can in the show, just because it's so uncomfortable to say. Mark Woods four, five and three against Joe Tiger four and four. I got Mark Woods. Victor's got Mark Woods. Mark's been on a tear. Um, like I said, just had a bad beat last week. Uh, Tom Brady, he's got a lot of faith in him. Uh, in Minnesota, they've really got that run game going as of last week against the uh, the Packers. So see if they can continue that against Detroit. Um, I just don't think that this week jacking off to Gurley Picks has got enough to get it done. However, he does have Ben Roethlisberger, who has the Dallas Cowboys. And what makes every quarterback feel better? Playing the Dallas Cowboys. So he's got the uh, Roethlisberger to Clay, uh, Chris Claypool? What's that son of a bitch's name? Chase Claypool um, connection there in Pittsburgh. So he, he could light the whole fucking world on fire with those two, realistically. So Julio Jones uh, has got Denver this week. Nothing to sleep on. Is he still going to really rely on Amari Cooper whenever... I don't know, some guy that literally just got done at working the hostess stand at Luby's is playing quarterback for the Cowboys, Garrett Gilbert. He's going to throw him out there, it looks like, see what happens. I don't think it's enough to get it done. Uh, we got Mark Woods um, taking it down there. F the franchise against the franchise. Does he get to F the franchise? No, he does not. He does not do that. The franchise gets the W. Victor is going to take himself, obviously. Did he put that on the list? He did not. Victor's going to get it done. However, I think Matt Stafford um, is going to have a very good week this week against Minnesota. But Justin Abair has been playing pretty damn well to this to this point for a rookie. I don't, I don't think anybody doubt that. 
Devontae Adams, um, he's got him going Thursday night, so see if he can get off to a little bit of a lead and see if he really needs anything from his Monday night guy. I highly doubt it. Justin Jefferson's had a great year so far, but it was a good pickup by Jaron Brewer. Not enough to get it done this week against the franchise. Next up, we have got the Hood Rats against Team Kick Your Ass. Two and six against six and two. Not terribly difficult to pick that. Stafford's on the on the COVID reserve list. Never mind. I didn't pick him anyway. He'd be fine. Billy Luna against the Team Kick Your Ass. Tommy Tidwell. Tommy Tidwell gets the W. Victor says the same thing. Um, Billy's gonna, he's got like 1,800 people on by this week, so he's gonna have to change that lineup. But based on what he's got left, I don't know that it really changes. Malcolm Brown and Kareem Hunt are both gonna come out of there. Um, it, Jimmy Garoppolo, is he playing this week? Oh man, Billy. Billy, it's gonna be tough for you, bud. Oh, the North Texas game against Louisiana Tech just got postponed. Motherfuck. Terrible timing in the middle of this episode. Way to put a damper on it. God damn it. We were going to get beat anyway. It'd be fine, actually. Tommy Tid will get in the W. Victor agrees with me. Then we've got uh, the Lamb Chops. Mr. Terrence Ganaway against Nick's Kicks. Nick, two-game win streak. Does he get it done this week? Ooh, it's going to be rough here. Um, I like the Keenan Allen play against Vegas. Um, so, so it makes it makes it a little bit more and more difficult for him. Um, if he had, if that running back position, he's just so weak there with James White. You've got it. I mean, he's playing the Jets. Everybody feels good when they play the Jets and the Cowboys. Does James White do a little more than what he has done to this to this point? He'd have to to try to take down Lamb Chops. Uh, I got Lamb Chops taking the taking it home, taking the W. Very sorry, Nick. That's going to deal a large blow to the playoff chances if that leaves you anything left at all. So that comes to the game of the week. So matchup to matchup, it's pretty good. It's pretty close. Um, I like um, I like DK Metcalf. I like Adam Thielen. I think I've said that plenty that. Um, Mike's wide receiver core is very good. He's got Corey Davis, who played real well last week. I don't remember if he actually played him or not. Um, Christian McCaffrey's coming back this week. Could be a little bit of a game breaker for Chris Powell if Christian McCaffrey can manage to be Christian McCaffrey. Um, I would like to say if that happens that Chris is going to pull this out. Victor's got Mike Green with the W. Um, man, I'm struggling. I'm really struggling because I want to pick... I really want to pick Jerry's boys. Um, I'm just I don't I don't know exactly what he is going to try to do with the, with that extra wide receiver position. Um, ah, fuck it. What, what what I got to lose really? I'm going to take Jerry's boys. Chris Powell uh, getting it done. I think he takes down Go to Um It's hard to pick against Chris. He's always got uh, got consistency on his side. Um, he is the picture of consistency in this league. Not that Mike Green is not. Um, since he has joined, Chris has done it just a little bit longer. Um, but it'll be a great game of the week, great matchup that we've got going. So that's all I've got. Episode 49. I probably did this in less than like six minutes. It's Victor's fault that it always takes so goddamn long, you know? It's not my fault. I'm just trying to get in, get out, and get the shit on the road. So good luck to everybody, unless you're playing the genitals. So really, um, I guess good luck to everybody but bad juju, and I don't feel great about it. So we'll see you guys next week on the show. Hopefully Vic will be back, and let me know if you want to come on the show. It doesn't have to be just me and Victor. We can do this with any of you guys. Terrence Ganaway's done it. It takes us 40 minutes when Ganaway's on the show, but let me know. Holler at us. We'll put you on. We'll get you in the Discord, and we'll knock it out. So we'll see you guys. and. Already know what I do. A young nigga back in the stool. And we are so high, she is so fly. I'm just enjoying the view. We popping them bottles for you. We got the Picardian and goose. We throwing this party for you. No lame, you ain't part of the crew. We came from the bottom and it is no problem because I had started with you.